In the previous lesson, we took a look at the if and if else statement here within PHP, and I want to expound upon the else if statement using the code that I currently have from the previous lesson. So we have an if and if else or if and else statement here located within PHP. If this condition is true, run this statement of code. Else, run this statement of code, and I'm going to go ahead and throw in those curly braces um, back in there, just because I'm used to writing my code with curly braces, even though there's only one line of code still typically the way that I write it. So I've got the curly braces there for the if and else statement currently. Now if I want to test for a condition that is true more than one time or there are multiple conditions that could be true, then I'm going to use something like the um, else if. And so I'm going to push down the else statement a little bit further and leave that for the end of my um, setup of my condition. And let's go ahead and do um, else if else if and you can see that that is a keyword that we can work with and what that's going to do is it's going to test again for another condition to see if a condition is true so i'll go ahead and use the opening curly brace you need to have an ending curly brace in this one as well and let's go ahead and say if the distance and i had 44 and 3 there let's just go 40 and then also 3 and we're going to use just a little bit simpler numbers to do some math on 40 times 3 is going to end up being 120. If 120 is going to be greater than, <clears throat> or let's just say if 120 equals 120, so we'll do equals 120. Now notice I use two equal signs here. Um, the reason why I'm using two equal signs is because one equal sign in PHP is used to, like you can see right here, is to set a value to something else. Two equal signs is going to be test to see if it is equal to. And typically when I see two equal signs, um, I usually say is equal to as the representation of that one. You can also use three equal signs, which we'll talk about in a future video, which has to deal with testing for not only to see if it's the same value, but the same type or object um, or data type as well. And I'm just going to use the two equal signs. It's common in a lot of programming languages to use both um, two equal signs for that. So we're going to keep moving on here, but if the distance, which is going to end up being 120, is equal to 120, and again I like to use the curly braces, and so I'll go ahead and use the curly braces for multiple lines even if I only use one line. I'm going to go ahead and use echo, and let's just go ahead and say, um, see if it's 120, um, let's see, we'll just say that, we'll put a break tag in here, and we'll say this distance is the best. And I'll go ahead and end that statement. Alright, so let's go ahead and save it. And before I refresh my page, just take a look to see here. Um, and we'll run through the code here. If, um, and this is going to result in 120, is greater than 200. That is not going to be true. So, what's going to end up happening is this line of code will not execute because that is not a true statement. I've got another else if statement here. Else if and then it ends up being 120, which is, it is going to end up being 120, we should see this line of code there. So if I refresh it, you'll see this distance is the best. Now notice that the first time we ran it um, in the previous lesson, anything that was less than 200, the else statement ran. However, in this case, the else statement will not run. And that is because one of these conditions was true. You've got L if here and then else if which means it's going to um, continue this whole condition or testing to see if something's true and else will not run unless neither of any of these conditions are true and so I can keep running this over and over again but else will only run if all of the conditions that I put in here and I don't have to stop at one else if I can actually do another else if so let's go ahead and do else if again else if and let's go ahead and say this time if the distance and I can use different numbers here. Let's just go ahead and put in there for our distance function. Let's put in there 50 and 3. Actually, let's put in 50 and 5. That'll go over the 200. And let's go ahead and say it's greater than 200. And I'll go ahead and put my opening curly brace. And I'll space down and put an ending curly brace. Let's just go ahead and say echo. Um, let's see this distance is too far and let's go ahead and add in there and too 
expensive. And I'll end that with a quote and semicolon. So it should do that line of statement instead. So let's go ahead and save it and refresh it. And I've got an error. And it says syntax error unexpected and then they tell us line number 19. So let's go back to line number 19 and I forgot the, there we go, parenthesis. I'll go ahead and save it and refresh it. All right, it says currently this distance is the best. Now you're gonna say, well, wait a minute, this statement is true. So when it ran through the first time, this statement was not true. Then it went down and checked this statement and this statement was true. When it found this statement as being true, it pretty much ignored anything else that was in this particular setup. And so it ignored the fact that 50 times 5 is 250. That is greater than 200, but this line of code will not run. And that's because this condition was true before it came down to this condition, so it did not continue down the line checking for anything else. So let's go ahead and make these both false. 40, we'll say 40 times 2. I'll go ahead and hit save, refresh. Now you'll see since the first condition was not true, the second condition was not true, it now checked the third condition, and the third condition was true, so it went ahead and it displayed my line of code that was in this particular condition. If I change it, let's say it's 50 times 3, which means now the first condition, my if statement, my else if statement, and then this else if statement, neither of these are true. I'm going to go ahead and refresh my page you'll see that since neither of those are true, it's gonna result back to my else statement, which is at the very end, it's kinda of like my catch-all if none of these were true, and it's gonna go ahead and display that there. So the else if statement is a little tricky to work with, and it's not as common as just a typical if and else statement. However, you can see that we can test for multiple conditions, and when we finally find a condition that is true, it'll go ahead and execute the code for that. However, if multiple conditions are true, it will take the first one in order uh, and then use that particular condition and then it will ignore the rest. So that's the if else or else if statement here within PHP.